Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidwin.com and in this video, we will show you how to update Lineage OS from Lineage OS 19 to Lineage OS 20. In other words, from Android 12 to Android 13. So please take a backup of all the data on your device and then let's proceed ahead. First and foremost, let me show you my phone. Currently, I am using a OnePlus 70 which is based on running on Lineage OS 19 based on Android 12. However, the steps given here are applicable across all the Android phones which are currently on Lineage OS 19. So you could implement these steps across all the phones which are on this OS as of now. And if I go to system, then let me show you. So as of now, I am on Lineage OS 19.1 which is based on Android 12. And as you could see over here, I have got a few updates regarding Lineage OS 20. However, you will not be able to install these updates directly from this updater app. This is because Lineage OS does not support the installation or upgradation of major OS directly from the phone. Instead, you will have to sideload the update package. So if you are getting a major OS upgrade from Lineage OS 18 to 19 or 19 to 20, then you will not be able to do so from the phone itself. You will have to take the help of ADB commands. On the other hand, if it's just a nightly build and weekly updates from Lineage OS 20 to 20.1, 20.2, then you might be able to do so from the phone. But as of now, you will have to take the help of PC. So now that's well and good, let's get started with the steps. Make sure to take a backup beforehand and then your first course of action is to install Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB commands. So download it from the link given in the description and extract it anywhere on your PC. In my case, I've done the extraction in the E drive. You could extract it anywhere you want. Once that is done, you will have to enable USB debugging so that you could execute ADB commands. So go to the settings menu on your phone from settings, go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. This will enable developer option. Now go to system. You should now see developer option. So go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. Once you do so, you will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK. After that, you will have to verify the ADB connection. So let's do that as well. So go to the platform tools folder directory. Type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window with the platform tools folder directory. Now type in ADB devices and make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any serial ID, then disable and re-enable USB debugging or tap on revoke USB debugging. Likewise, use the official USB cable and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC and not the 3.0 port. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are getting this, then you are good to go ahead. So next up, you will now have to download the Lineage OS 20 ROM. So grab hold of the ROM from the official side. Along with the ROM, you also have to download the recovery file. So for example, in my case, the phone is OnePlus 70 and this is the ROM file and this is the recovery file. Make sure to download both this file and then place them in the platform tools folder. As you could see, this is the ROM file and this is the recovery file. Once that is done, we will now have to talk about G apps. This is the most important step. So there are, are three cases over here. In case one, if you are currently using G apps on Lineage OS 19 and you want to continue using it on Lineage OS 20 as well, then there is no factory reset required. Simply download the GF package from the link given in the description and place it in the platform tools folder. So this is for the case one who have Lineage OS 19 with GFs and want GFs on Lineage OS 20 as well. On the other hand, if you belong to case two in which you are currently using GF on Lineage OS 19, but you do not want GF on Lineage OS 20. In that case, again, the process will format all your data. So take a backup beforehand. Then comes the case three. In case three, you are currently not using GF on Lineage OS 19 but you want GFs on Lineage OS 20. This process will also wipe off all the data, so take a backup beforehand. Once done, download the GF package and transfer it to the platform tools folder as before. So in case 1 and case 3, where you currently have GFs on Lineage OS 19 and want to use Lineage OS 20 GFs, download the GF package. And in case 3, if you are not using GFs, but you want GFs on Lineage OS 20, again download the GF package. So in case 1 and case 3, you want to download the GF package, whereas in case 2, where you do not want GFs on Lineage OS 20, in that case, you do not need any GF package, but both this process will format the data, so take a backup beforehand. Once you have downloaded the GF in case 1 and case 3, transfer it to the platform tools folder and rename it to GFs so that the name becomes GF.zip. Subsequently, rename the ROM file to simply ROM so that it becomes easier to type in the command window. So the name of the complete name will become ROM.zip. Likewise, rename the recovery file to simply recovery. So that it becomes recovery.img. So it's the rom.zip, recovery.img, and gapps.zip if you want. So once you have placed all these three files in the platform tools folder, you could now go ahead. Now you will have to boot our phone to the Lineage OS recovery. 
So for that, go to the platform tools folder directory and make sure you have opened the CMD window. In this window, type in ADB reboot recovery. It should only take a few seconds and your phone will now boot to the Linux OS recovery. So let's wait while that is happening. And once it gets booted to the recovery, we will now be sideloading the ROM. So let's go to the sideload mode. For that, go to apply update. And from apply update, select apply from ADB. With this, your phone is now in the ADB sideload mode. So we could now sideload the ROM zip file. So for that, you just need to execute the following command in the CMD window. Make sure it's the CMD window that is open in the platform tools folder. So type in ADB sideload, followed by the name of the Linux OS 20 ROM. In our case, it's name as ROM.zip. So just type in ROM.zip and hit enter. The sideloading process will now begin. And you could keep a track of the same from your phone as well and from the given percentage. Do keep in mind that it will get stuck at 47% and will remain in that percent for around a couple of minutes. That is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So even if it gets stuck at 47%, you should not worry and leave the device in that state. Similarly, you could keep a track from on the phone bottom left section. And while you are sideloading any apps or any package, you might get a few error message as well during the process. If that happened, then that is not a cause of concern and you could also proceed ahead. So let me show you a couple of error message as well that I'm talking about. Just a minute. So there are a few error messages that you might get while flashing or sideloading any ADB file. And these are the errors. In most cases, you will only get the total transfer message one into. Apart from that, in some cases, you might also get the following error message. So this is nothing to worry about. And all these five messages signifies that the ADB sideload is successfully completed. So even if you get any of these four messages apart from the total transfer, it's not a cause of concern and you should not worry and let the process complete. And once you get any of the messages, you could reboot a phone to the OS. So now that's out of the way, let me show you currently it's stuck at 47% while the process is going on. As of now, it's step one of two. You could keep a track of the same from your phone. So let's wait for the time frame. The process will take a couple of additional minutes. And so let's wait for the time frame. So while that is happening, let's recall the three cases. So let me tell you, as of now, I belong to the case three. I was not using GS on Linux OS 19, but I will now flash GS on Linux OS 20. So in my case, I'll do a factory reset as well. You please make sure to keep a note of the case that you currently belong to. In my case, it's case three. You could keep a track of case two and case will as well correspondingly. So let's wait for the flashing to go on. And as of now, it would still be on for 7%. Once the process is completed, it will automatically get completed, but it will not show any progress more than that. So that's not a cause of concern. You should keep a track from your phone itself. And as you could see, we are still on step one of two. So let's wait for the time frame while that is happening. And as I, I have told you before, I belong to case three. So in my case, I did not have GFs on Android 12, but now I'll be flashing GFs on Android 13 in Windows 20. So in my case, I have to format my device and then flash the G apps. So anyways, moving on. Now, as you could see that we have done the flashing and on our phone it's saying step two of two. So if you, even if you check out the CMD window, you are getting the total transfer message one and two. This signifies that the ROM has been flashed successfully and we are now good to go ahead. Now, if you are a part of case one, so let's recall the case one. In case one are those users who are currently using G apps on Linux OS 19 and want GFs on Linux 20 as well. In that case, you could simply sideload the GF without any reset. So to do so, simply execute the ADB sideload GFs command. So go to the platform tools folder directory, make sure GFs is placed here and its name is gfs.zip and you should simply type in ADB sideload and gfs.zip and hit enter. The GF file will now be flashed onto your phone and it will only take a few seconds. Once the G app is flashed, you could simply reboot to the OS by selecting reboot system now. On the other hand, if you are part of case two or case three, then let's move to the next step. In case two or case three, case two are those users who were having G apps on Linux OS 19, but they do not want on Linux OS 20. On the other hand, case three are those users who did not have Linux OS, who did not have G apps on Linux OS 19, but they want G apps on Linux OS 20. So in both these cases, they have to first format a device. But before that, let's first change the slot. 
so go back and select advance and select reboot to recovery your device will again reboot to the linear OS recovery and this time the slot will be changed the process could only take a few seconds so let's wait for the time frame and as you could see uh, we have now booted to the second slot and now we could go ahead so now it's the time to reset our phone do note that it will remove all the data from our device and this is compulsory in in both the cases for case 2 and case 3 in both these cases it is compulsory so tap on format data and factory reset and select format data the process will now begin and as you could see you will get a message data wipe complete once that is done go back now if you are in case 2 meaning you had gfs on linux 19 but you do not want gfs on linux 20 in that case you could simply tap on reboot system now and your device will boot to the os without the gfs on the other hand if you were part of case 3 wherein you did you did not have gfs on linux 19 but you want gfs on linux 20 so in that case you will now have to sideload the gf file and the process is exa exactly the same as i told you before you will first have to go to apply update then select apply from adb so that your device in the is in the adb sideload mode now type in adb sideload gapps.zip and hit enter it will now begin sideloading the gf package and the process should only take a few seconds as again as before the process might get stuck at 47 percent so i will show you one more thing if it gets stuck there so as of now you are getting a signature failed verification so this is happening because the gf package have not been signed by the linux os team in other words if you site load any zip file which is not a part of the linux os family you will get this message for example if you are site loading any zip mod or if you are site loading matches or any other zip file which is not a part of linux os family then you will get this verification failed message it's not a cause of concern just tap on yes and the gf flashing will now begin and it will only take a few seconds to get completed so let's wait for the time frame and as you could see we have got the done message and now we could reboot our system to the os so just tap on reboot system now and our phone will now boot to the linux os 20 rom the first boot up will take a few additional seconds that is completely normal because we have just upgraded the os from android 12 to android 13 so the first boot up will, boot up will take a few additional minutes that is nothing to worry about from the subsequent boot ups it will not take that much time so let's wait for the phone to boot up this is the new linux os 20 boot animation that you could see and it might take a few additional seconds this time around moreover if since we have flash g apps it also has to load the google app packages and framework in the back end this will also take a few additional seconds so let's wait while that is happening and as i, I have told you before these are the three cases that we have discussed you could Come back to this guide, the link is given in the description and check out all these three cases whenever you require and make sure to follow the steps accordingly to the, these three cases itself. Anyways, we have now booted to the OS and we are now on the Lineage OS 20 which is based on Android 13. So let's skip the setup as of now and directly boot to the OS. We are only getting the screen since we have flash G apps. If you have not flash G apps, you will not get the screen. This is because this is part of the Google service framework. So let's accept and skip the password as of now. So let hit just the navigation skip. And guys, with this, we are now on the Lineage OS 20, which is based on Android 13. Let me show you the status as well. So if I go to the settings menu, from settings, if I go to system, and this time around you could see i am on linux os 20 which is based on android 13 so guys this was all from this video on how you could upgrade from linux os 19 android 12 to linux os 20 android 13 we have also shown you how to flash the g apps if required if you have any queries do let us know in the comment section below and guys please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching